All right, folks, this is the last installment, I think. Uh, project's almost done. Bad thing about projects is they evolve. They never really end. So this is the M416 trailer that I widened by approximately a foot on each side so that it has more towing capacity as well as uh, I can see it better behind my Jeep. So just kind of go over everything that's happened. <clears throat> so, excuse me. We put 35 inch mud terrain tires on it. We opened up the wheel well with the cut and fold method so that the 35 inch tires would uh, fit. It's got wheel spacer adapters on it to match the 5.5 lug pattern. The trailer has been painted to match my Jeep. So, uh, steel blue metallic. Uh, decals came off of Amazon. So, the, anyone that's followed the build kind of knows what's happened to this point. Cut the, uh, uh, the bed out. Cut the... Uh, the sides of the bed in half basically extended it by two feet have a little more touch-up work to do <clears throat> we extended the tongue on the trailer and we bought an adapter from compact camping solutions to extend the make the lunette ring be able to accept a two inch receiver and that part is right here. It's a bolt-on application. You can see it in the other videos. We've extended the tongue, kept the lunette ring. Mounted brackets for the stabilizers that I scratch built. That's in the video previously as well. We've mounted some jerry can holders that you can either put uh, scepter water cans in or wavy and gas cans. These are the Smitty Belt uh, Jerry can holders. Over here, we just added a ammo can to go some storage up front. Here's the other side. And as we come to the back, you're going to see the stabilizing jacks that have been made. A very simple design. You can see that we welded on a nub here okay and then there's an L shape that we created and then basically this piece slides up and down take my pin out you can see that it goes up and down and then you just insert the pin back into the uh, stabilizing jack and it'll lock it in place. I only got two hands so one of them's holding the phone to record this so I'm not gonna mess with that too much. Lighting basically has been put on everything works. I used an M101 uh, no an M1101 tailgate uh, and just created some really easy latches here so welded it all on both sides uh, here's a stabilizing jack again so this one's not <coughs> all the way down so if I was to pull up somewhere and I'd attach it you know you just pull the pin it drops to wherever you need it you throw the pin back in lock it in place and you you're stabilized Okay, so that's the front panel where we were able to widen the uh, trailer. We've welded in the wheel wells. We've painted it. We've rhino lined it. Uh, like I said, I think we're basically done until I can think of something else I want to do with it. And as you guys all know, that always happens you always think of something else uh, one other thing I put a latch on here uh, 
because when I've put water cans on there, I'm going to strap it. And that's just going to tie everything down instead of three separate straps. And it does have a locking nub on it, so it's all good. Uh, I think that's it for the time being. So I hope you've enjoyed the journey. Uh, kind of liking where it wound up. Everything seems to work the way I wanted it to. Um, pretty happy. Let me know what you think. Appreciate your comments. Have a great day.